Welcome back. I'm Scott Gross. It's Red Ribbon Week, the nation's largest and longest running drug use prevention campaign. Our reporter Samantha Bird shares how Yuma plans to participate in the nationwide campaign. The Yuma County Anti-Drug Coalition and the City of Yuma kicked off Red Ribbon Week Monday morning with a ceremony, inviting local family and friends to take a stand against drugs and join them in their mission to help keep kids drug free. Thank you very much. The Yuma community coming together for Red Ribbon Week. Kids see things and they're also very impressionable. And if we can get that message of how dangerous drugs are, I mean, when we look at it, you know, the one pill can kill. Tragedy happens and there's nothing you can do and that affects a family, that affects a community, that affects a school. And if we can stop that tragedy from occurring, then we're better off. The Red Ribbon Week campaign brings together parents, schools, and businesses as we look for ways to keep kids and communities drug free. Take the time around the dinner table, turn off the TV for 15, 20 minutes, have the conversation with your children. Because you might not think there's an issue, but you, it'll be too late when there is an issue. The Yuma County Anti-Drug Coalition says Red Ribbon Week encourages our entire community to adopt a healthy, drug-free lifestyle. And the 4th Avenue Junior High School Student Council says they're on board. It's important to teach them because, like, if they ever got into a situation with drugs or anything, they don't know what to do and they think it's okay for them to smoke or do anything that's bad of drugs. From October 23rd through 31st, schools across Yuma County County will be spreading awareness to help keep kids drug free. So this week we are planning on going Tuesday and Friday to Roosevelt and Carver to spread awareness to children about the dangers of drugs and we do have some activities and games planned for them too. For more information about Red Ribbon Week or how you can get involved, visit our website at KYMA.com. Reporting in studio, Samantha Bird, News 11.